Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Man Collections, and today I'll be showing you uh, my Christmas movie DVD collection part 4, but this one's going to be the timeless classic Christmas movies, like the ones you got to watch, fun to watch all the time. For starters, let's go back old school, original Miracle on 34th Street, starring Edmund Gwynn, and I believe he was Santa in this movie right here, like he he'd know, he did the part justice, and I love how he spoke Dutch to this one girl in the movie, but made this girl, uh, Susie, uh, or Susan, to uh, believe again in the magic of Christmas. Uh, this is a good movie to watch all the time, especially the remake. I might do that on the other one, but anyway, it's a wonderful life. Watched it for the first time, and I was like, wow, what was I missing? You know what I mean? Because it's like, I, I haven't watched it before, and then when I watched it with my family for the first time, I didn't get the plot at first because it showed him as a boy, and then he saved his brother. Spoiler alert. But anyway, then his ear went deaf from the cold water on one side. Then he falls in love with this one girl, or woman, and they have kids together. And he tries to save his uncle's or grandfather's bank to help people out, build houses and stuff. And then he gets so stressful, and then he wished he said he was never born. Then, all of a sudden, his brother died from drowning. And, basically, the town became named after the corporate bank over that was trying to buy his uncle's bank. They never fell in love, so she didn't know who she was. But anyway, then he wishes that he was alive again. And, basically, he, like, you know, regrets saying that. He kept saying, Merry Christmas, and... They helped pay off his debt and everything. And his angel said, you really did have a wonderful life, did you? But this is a classic you need to watch. But anyway, Dudley Moore as Patch the Elf and David Helson as Santa Claus and Santa Claus the movie. I watch this every Christmas. It's a classic movie right here. And I, if they made a remake of this, it wouldn't be right. But anyway, uh, I love the suit that he's wearing and how he explains, like, Towards the 80s, he said people just didn't care anymore. Didn't care to give to others. That's what his whole message was all about, basically. And I just love the movie right here. And I love the scene where uh, they're reading a letter from a kid. He said, Dooley, make up a list that is uh, naughty and nice. And he said, remember, I'll be checking it twice. And I said, I love that scene right there every time he does that. But anyway... Uh, this is a good movie I recommend watching right here. And also we got, yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Based off a actual event when Virginia will hand it right to the, the Sun newspaper and ask, is there a Santa Claus? And then he writes back saying, yes, there is. And I'm going like, that's the meaning, right? They're pretty much saying he is around, you just don't see him. Or you know what he stands for, basically. Anyway. That's a good one. And then also, you got to have Tim Allen's Santa Claus in here where Santa falls off his roof, he puts on the coat, and he becomes Santa. And he's chosen. Good storyline. I love Now, don't get me wrong, number two and three were, I would consider them classics to watch too, but this is the original right here, so this is a classic right here. Definitely one you got to watch if you haven't seen it already. But anyway, Mrs. Santa Claus. When Angela Lansbury playing Santa, uh, I mean, Mrs. Claus, and Charles Durning playing Santa. And they used the slave from Santa Claus 1 in here. But they just added lanterns to it. But anyway, basically with this one, Santa's pretty much ignoring her and uh, didn't want to try out the new flight plan. He's just busy looking at letters and feel like she was left out. So she went to go try out the new map plan. And then towards the end of the movie, he's like he missed her. <laughs> he realized he can't handle the things while she's gone. <laughs> but anyway, Charlie Brown Christmas. This always came on TV, but now since uh, I don't know what's going on, right? you got to watch it on Hulu or something now. But anyway, thank God I got it on TV. But this is a classic to watch every Christmas. And they start singing towards the end and around this little Christmas tree. Said, even though you didn't like it, Charlie Brown liked it. See right here? They sing around a tree. But this will lift your holiday spirits as well. And Charlie Brown's Christmas Tales. It says it's... Um, Got like special features on this one. It says another story featuring the gang. It's the goodbye. Is this goodbye, Charlie Brown? And some other tales in here. But anyway, 
that was a good one to watch. I haven't watched that one yet, but anyway. This is from the Christmas Classic series. I need to get the third one. Uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas, but this is the first one I had. I, I've watched this one all the time. And Don Knotts is playing the horse in it. Unfortunately, he's passed away. So, I mean, rest in peace, Don. But he was a good actor in here. And I said, I love the little girl singing towards the end because they had to sell the horse to him. Or Santa, they didn't know it was Santa. But anyway. Um, and then she started singing, uh, We'll spend Christmas together in your heart. And that gave me a tear jerk right there. I, this was a good one to watch, I tell you. But uh, when was this made? I forgot. Um, hold on. Yeah, it's got Jason Alexander playing an elf. Don Nas is Chris the horse, and then Shelley Long's playing the mom. I'm trying to see where the date is. At. Oh, 1999. That's when it was made. But anyway, then same thing goes over here. Another one from the series, Old Christmas Tree, with Ed Ashner playing the toy soldier uh, ornament. Tim Conway is playing the squirrel, and Marie Osmond is the uh, narrator, and she's the star right here, and she also sings the title song. But this was made around 1999 as well, but unfortunately, Edward Nash, Asner and Tim Conway is already gone too, so I mean, but this was a good one too, and they start singing, and then they, you know, the, you know, the ornament was going like, Why? Does this tree have, you know, berries and acorns? It, said, it doesn't matter. It was made from people that have a heart to put something on the tree. That's what I got from it. But anyway, and then Santa gave him magical powers, and he ended up changing all that to make it light up and everything. So it's the thought that counts, too. But anyway, the Tangerine Bear with Tom Bosley and uh, Howie Mandel playing Jack the Box right here. Jonathan Taylor Thomas playing the Tangy. And then uh, Marlon Wayne's playing the Blue Monkey and Trisha Yearwood singing some of the songs in here. And uh, David Hyde Pierce is playing the uh, Bird. And yeah, narrated by Trisha Yearwood, my bad. And uh, yeah, Tom Boz is playing Mr. Winkle. But anyway, this one was made, oh God, when was this one made? It says like early 2000 artists and entertainment, so. This is a classic to watch all the time. I watch this one all the time. It's sad to see like him getting turned over and his mouth got sewn up upside down. And he meets new friends at an antique store. And also him at a disco table. But anyway. Um, and then he ends up getting tanned by the sun. He ends up being tangerine, a rare color. He said all he was trying to do was find a home, but he didn't know he already had it with um, Jack and Bird here. Good story. Now... Everybody's got to have this one in their collection. The Nutcracker Prince, starring Kiefer Sutherland, Peter O'Toole, and Phyllis Diller. Um, this is a good one. I got another Nutcracker movie. I should have brought that one out too, but it's one, the one with uh, L. Fanning and John Tor Torino. Torino. Anyway, I got that one, and um, I, I wished I had another one too, but I mean, they had so many other ones out there. But this one I watched when I was in school, when we were reading the book. And I loved it, so I, when I found it, I said, I got to grab it. So I remember this one all the time. But anyway, this is a good movie. I love the book, too. I mean, I, I got to get the book, too. I got to find one of those. But um, this is a classic. And Keith Sutherland's playing the voice of uh, the Nutcracker Prince, and Peter O'Toole's playing like an old toy soldier. I don't know if you, yeah, he ain't on here. But Phyllis Diller's playing the Mouse Queen on here. Oh, yeah, that, there he is, Peter O'Toole, right there. But... This is a classic. <clears throat> I recommend it. Next, Frosty the Snowman, the original Frosty the Snowman. Some people didn't like Frosty Returns on here, but I mean, um, it's all right. But, and then they brought out The Legend of Frosty the Snowman, but that one ain't a classic yet, in my opinion. But this one is a heartfelt story where the kids brought a snowman to life, and then the magician's trying to take the hat away, and then he melts. That got sad, and then Santa brought him back to life, and I said, that was good. Then, another one, Polar Express, with Tom Hanks. Whew. Tom Hanks portrayed Santa in here. Good. And the doctor and all that. But anyway, this is a classic story. Basically, I'm trying to believe in Santa and Christmas again. Because it's almost like it says, doesn't mean you don't see nothing. doesn't mean it exists, basically. That's what I get out of this one. But this is a good one to watch. If you haven't seen it, watch it, okay? It's a good one. Good songs in there too. Now, 
If you did not see this one, you need to see it. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I mean, that's a catchy song, and this one was made. When was this one made? Hey, gum, 2001. Yeah, but I watched this one all the time at Christmas time, too, but this one was fun to watch, and it was sad, like Grandma's gone, and then, you know, he's trying to find her, and Santa actually had her at the North Pole trying to recover. That's a good one to watch, but anyway, Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. Now, this ain't the original Rangan Bass, but this is one I like the most, but I love the suit that he's wearing. Old fashioned robe style suit. But anyway, basically this fairy adopted him and it's basically like, you know, the humans just left him out and she adopted him, like I said, and then he grew up with her and then he built uh, him with the help of the wood nymphs and fairies, they helped build him a bigger house and this uh, little creature right here lived with him too. And he built toys for kids to give out. And the uh, guardian of the forest saw something in him. And he was about to die towards the end. And um, they had to have a council meeting to give him immortality. Saying if they allowed him to die, everybody would become hopeless again. You know, not feeling merry like he did bring everybody. But this is a classic story written by L. Frank Baum. And wrote The Wizard of Oz. But I recommend this one too. This is a good story. But anyway... That's going to be part one because I got some more that I would consider classics in my collection. So stay tuned for that one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. And then we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.